Bridges connect people and places. They allow ideas to flow and worlds to expand. Without bridges, we would be isolated, voiceless, and lonely. We would be uninformed and ignorant. Bridges take many forms. They can be large, small, simple, or sophisticated. Bridges have served us since early times. They are beautiful and wonderful. Bridges over barriers is our link to freedom and life, transporting us over the barriers of being ignored, overlooked, misunderstood, and underestimated. Barriers are obstacles in the life of an autistic person. A barrier is sometimes invisible. People's attitudes are often the worst barrier. If others think in limits about us, it is as much a barrier as cement in the road. Bridges Over Barriers has been created by a group of friends in Ontario, Canada, who share the communication and movement challenges of autism. In our regular gatherings since January 2004, we have been developing our skills as communicators and sharing technology ideas and friendship. We are able to communicate our thoughts, needs, dreams and choices when supported with our typing and are a great group of friends. As a community of pioneers, we want to extend our reach to others who can benefit from more opportunities and from our experience. Supported typing is a bridge for people who cannot speak reliably with our voices. It is a form of augmentative and alternative communication. Supported typing is not a cure for autism, but our bridge to the world. I remember the first time I used ST, when I spoke for the first time in words that made sense. The bridge took me from the island to the mainland. I am using part of a new IT system we are developing for future bridges gatherings. The computer voice is speaking my words. With this setup, I'd like to guide you through some of the conversations we have shared. They are all composed by us in our own words, which are spoken for us by friends. What does bridges mean to me? Bridges means great, special, good friends who help in hard times. This is a great bunch of people. We talk by typing and listening to each other. I like coming to Bridges and being in a good frame of mind. I like to be in this place because I can be myself, happy and gentle. Other people in other places put me down. I am going over a bridge right now. I am feeling good every day. We are smart and good friends. Joy in communicating with people who like me and understand my heart and soul is critical. It is a unique opportunity to discuss all our thoughts and solutions. We often talk about things of universal importance. We need to support each other when we are hurt and when we are happy. I listen to the other men telling me what they are doing and I tell them what I am doing. We are great friends and we need to be together often to talk and be together. It means the world to me that we've got close with binding ties. We have a lot in common. My friends know my language. We're calmer here and support each other. We have a place to talk things through and work out the ideas together. We listen to the struggles, we share, we root for each other. Bridges Over Barriers is important to keep ourselves and others communicating. We break some stereotypes about our empathy. We very much like to sit and talk and be together, even though people think we're not social. I don't know what I would do without our Bridges friends. I think it is really good here. The people are so kind and accepting. I feel loved and needed. Thanks for including me. 
It is such a good feeling. I want that feeling of peace all the time. I'm glad I had the opportunity to talk. Thank you for listening. Bridges Over Barriers is our link to freedom and life, transporting us over the barriers of being ignored, overlooked, misunderstood, and underestimated. When I communicate with my Bridges group, I feel like we've always been together and that we have a connection deeper than family. I guess we are, in fact, a type of family, sharing the common bond of silence in a world that is seldom silent. What is it like to not be able to rely on our voices? It was a terrible thing to be present and yet invisible and considered stupid and unaware of what people were saying. I felt lonely, trapped, and scared. Before ST, I did not talk and people did not know what I thought. I felt sad, frustrated, and angry because I couldn't share my ideas and thoughts. And I felt unhappy not to speak like other people. The hardest was not having a facilitator all the time. I had things to say, but no one to listen. I felt that I was in a hell of a place, and I did not hope to get out. Before ST, I had no way to express myself. I had to hope others would see in my eyes and behavior, but these were not reliable. Nobody knew how smart I was. It felt that I was observing my own life, but not controlling it. I was sad, and at times frustrated if I needed to say something. It felt lonely. People had to guess what I wanted and needed. I communicated by some signs and by pointing, but it was so limiting. I was impeded by my movement disturbances. I might get things I needed, but couldn't say what I thought and felt. I think other people saw a primitive, childlike person who was not a thinker. I know it's hard to respect someone who paces and screeches, but says nothing intelligent. People did not know that I was trying to be in control of my body, when my body went in the opposite way from the way I wanted. I tried to keep calm, even though I got upset. People only saw my racing and pacing, not my inner struggle, and that I was really working to hold in the storm. Supported. Typing. <laughs> what difference does supported typing make? I can express myself and have a genuine social experience. Communication makes us feel spiritual and caring. It is a wonderful thing to be able to express our thoughts and feelings and to be respected by others. Also, you can ask other people how they are feeling. It is definitely better with others who use supported typing. When I am with those who speak, I am ignored or treated like a retarded person. People have to understand that it takes patience and perseverance for us to explain ourselves and that signs and symbols don't cut it. It's the way we get in touch with our feelings and each other. I think it's opening your mind to let others inside to know you and what you think and believe and feel. It's as if the more I communicate, the more I think. It opens doors to our inside thoughts so that we can interact. The world can understand me, and I have a chance to be in the world. I mean out in the world, as I am, who I am. I also want to tell my friends how good I feel. ST gave me respect from others. My words and my friends help me to feel good about myself. I feel wonderful to be able to talk to my friends and to share my thoughts, ideas, and needs. My parents and supporters need to know what I think and feel. Communication is talking and listening. Communication is a great way to visit with people and find out what they've been doing and how they are feeling about things. It is extremely important to speak and not be ignored. It is the way we put things in words or in our minds and then feel them and say them. I am glad that I can use this board and I am going to use it more in the future. I get insecure when I can't communicate with people. It is really important. If I don't have the ability to ST, I get mad, and stuff happens that is not my fault. Or 
all of it. It is nice to be included. ST is important to me because I can tell people what I want. Sometimes I want to yell at the world and I get frustrated when I can't tell people what I feel. I like talking and I need to talk more, but I take a long time to talk. It is real hard. I need to focus and I need more time. I like talking to people about my life. I need to tell more so I don't get misunderstood. It happens. ST is real to me. I need to use it, but I am stubborn and I get in my own way and I make my own choice. I like ST. People believe me and I feel important when I say what I need. A good communication partner must have faith in the person and to be willing to make mistakes. Be a good listener and should be here with us. I am grateful I have a good mom to help me. Be a kind person to understand me and to be patient. I am glad that my mom wanted to talk to me more than anyone else. She encouraged me to try and she would not give up until I learned to do ST with her. Be cautious about judging my intellect and know I am intelligent but challenged. My facilitator or communication assistant needs to be a good person who understands that I am smart. Who are our friends? What are the qualities of friends? Our friends are the people who can be with us and not get upset. My friends care enough to take my particular interests in their minds. My friends accept the way I am. I like calm, focused friends who listen to me speak. My friends take time to know me. People who are caring, interested in my thoughts and believe in me. We need friends because... Our friends help us to be who we are and not what people think we are. Companions to share experiences and happy and sad times and to explore ideas. Friends are why I can communicate and why I am happy with the world like I feel today. I need friends to like me and being busy with me. I need people to know that I am hearing impaired but smart. Nobody can be alone in the world. I have things to give as well as receive. We need different kinds of friends because... We need to share various interests, like other people do. They have different gifts, and we go to different places. I need friends who like being outside, because I like going for walks. I need friends who like animals. I want to be with friends who like to eat healthy, like me. I need friends to help communicate go swimming, and out to eat. The world has all kinds of people, and that's what makes life interesting and worthwhile. Everybody needs companions, and it would be a lonely world if we were left completely alone. I believe that my family and friends benefit from my friendship and company and humor. Top 10 suggestions for making new friends. New friends can be hard to find. Have t-shirts made with a small Bridges Over Barriers logo and large words saying, talk to me. Showing up with my dogs always gets people talking. I think smiling helps too, if you can get your mouth to do it. Going to places to meet new people, like my new church and the stores near my new home. I like country people. They are calm and friendly to meet. They accept me as I am. Working together is great. I show people that I want to be friends by smiling and shaking hands and being in a good mood. Tap someone on the arm. Bring your portable small PC. Don't make angry faces. Look pleasant. People might be pleasantly surprised that we can be sociable. 
Get people together who care for the same things like the environment. Chat more with your neighbors. People who are friends already can find new friends for us. What's it like to be autistic? What's it like to be me? I'm a bundle of sensations. I get the urge to touch and pick. And I must follow my urges. Can you see my urges? I can't tell you. I just show you. I'm a bundle of nerves and a jumble of thoughts. I'm in constant motion and my mind's always going. I wonder what it's like to be you. Do you wonder what it's like to be me? I'm a time bomb waiting to explode and a tear waiting to fall. When we need flexibility but don't have it, we get agitated. We need people to hear us. I don't know why I have hard times, but I wish I could get over them and be normal. I think it is because of things both inside and outside my body. I don't understand what is happening inside, but when people are hard on me, this makes it worse. I think they are being mad and severe in their judgments. I would like to know what makes me so anxious and upset. I don't know how to control my compulsions. I need people to help by being there for me. I am struggling with myself and how to be with others when I get upset. I do not like it when I lose it, but I cannot help it. It is hard to control myself and not know what it is about. I am always in motion because I feel restless and can't stop moving because I feel movement inside my body and I don't know what to do about it. It is very hard for me to accept changes. I need help to keep going because I get stuck and cannot move. I feel that being stuck is the worst part of being autistic and it's what stops me from having a normal life. I am affected by other people's moods. I like calm sounds, like in the woods. I'm still a bundle of sensations. I feel like I have to keep moving. Our lives are challenged by not controlling our movements. I think the struggles are in our bodies and the strategies are what help. Other people should know that it's always a struggle, even when there may be no outward sign. We all lose it in different ways sometimes, I guess. I get hyper and run and scream and clap if it's bad. Don't worry if you lose it when we're together. I have to control myself if others lose it, but I don't want them to feel bad. Barriers are too great, too many. Go over and under. Try to understand. I want to show the real me, smart and funny. People should ask me to speak and choose with Dynarite. I want people to know how hard we have to struggle to behave appropriately. It would be great to teach others about our joy in communicating with others. The world should wake up and accept us as we are. We want to be recognized as intelligent, sensitive and spiritual people who love God and others. We want to be accepted in a faith community where we can be involved and needed. People with autism and disabilities are more in tune with spiritual things because their world is silent and their hearts are open. We need to be allowed to make our own choices and to try new things. People need lifelong education and recreational opportunities. We have thoughts of our own, that I am a good man and that I am smart and can communicate well. I am strong at listening, understanding and being myself. I can do things. I do not like to be talked down to. I have a good life with my family. I love them so much. I have a fine sense of humor like my mother. I want to be close to my friends. I am not an angel and sometimes do stuff that they will not like. They should be patient and not get mad and be my friend anyway. We are affected by autism and we need support to talk 
and to live our everyday life. We want to show people who don't understand that we can talk by typing and listening to each other and that we are smart. People should know that we are doing the talking, not with our voices, but with supported typing. I want to show that I can do good work and keen to learn new things. I am smart, helpful, joyful, patient, and kind. I don't know if I will ever feel totally included unless everyone communicates with me in some way. Like people talking when I'm not in the room. I can still hear them and that makes me angry and then I feel alone like no one is listening to me. Just remind people to talk to you and then put an effort into talking. We have much to say. We support one another. As well as our friends and supporters, we want our message to reach everyone who lives and works with autistic people. Please assume that we're intelligent and help us express ourselves. Our message is, let the people know. First our gathering, then the world. Connecting is my purpose in life. It is why we are here. My world is connecting the dots. You are one dot. I am another. We live in a world of connections, and the lines spread out from here. Connecting is building. A bridge of words. A bridge of love.